everybody, this is Craig Tanner for the Mindful Eye and the photo of the week on the Daily Critique. This week's photo of the week is a powerful portrait created by Andre, who is an intermediate photographer from the UK. Metadata, Leica M9, effective focal length of 50 millimeters, exposure trio ISO 80, F17, and 1/350th of a second. And paraphrasing Andre's backstory here, says he was traveling in Greece earlier in the year, was having a coffee at an outdoor cafe when the gentleman in the portrait passed by with an old world music box on wills and Andre got his permission to make his portrait he said that uh, he had only witnessed this kind of music box in really old black and white movies as a child so it was a really moving thing for him to see one of the things that's so powerful in this portrait is texture texture is the surface quality of the perception of the surface quality of the images or objects within the overall image of the photograph in black and white does such an amazing job of letting us emphasize intrinsic qualities of subjects like texture. A lot of times color will really get in the way of our ability to show texture and black and white. And the contrast here and the conversion, um, it looks like Andre's getting a lot of overall and local contrast out of the conversion and that is also doing a beautiful job of accentuating the texture. I really love how this feeling of sort of a checkered texture is happening on a lot of the main subjects. The shirt, the character lines in the face, plaid of the hat, even suggested out of focus and whatever this subject might be in the background. Very powerful image when it comes to texture. And I really wanted to mention that as a potential takeaway from this video. If you're going for texture to preview your scenes in monochrome, could be a good choice. Quality of light here just looks absolutely stunning. There's a really beautiful feeling of a flow of light, bright side of the face, shadow side of the face. There's a really beautiful quantity of light in the eyes so they're alive and really great catch lights. I love the way the catch lights here and the x-axis orientation of the catch lights is doing a beautiful job just right away of rhyming the structure and the shape of the glasses. Uh, that's really beautiful. It looks like the preponderance of the light is behind this gentleman. That's helping to keep him comfortable in terms of not being overwhelmed by the amount of light. And uh, the real bright here on the shoulders and on the top of the head is also creating separation on the backgrounds. Just fantastic quality of light in this image. Another thing that I am enjoying is the super shallow depth of field. 50 millimeters here. It's an f15 lens. Just stop down a tiny bit to f17. Fantastic job of focusing on the eyes and uh, sort of lucky here or maybe totally planned by Andrew in terms of where he moved but he's gotten flat on so that both of the eyes even at the super shallow depth of field seem very sharp you have some sharpness on the face same plane of focus connected to the eyes a little bit on the cap a little bit down here and then focus falls off dramatically and it's really helping to simplify the image. Really great use of very narrow depth of field to really accentuate the eyes. Another thing I enjoy about this frame, I don't know how many shots Andre took, but really like the camera position here. Looks like Andre is shooting a little bit high to low, so the center of his lens is a little bit higher than eye level. And there are a whole lot of things that that can do for us. One of the things that it can do is just accentuate the eyes relative to the rest of the face. The thing or things that are closest to the lens are going to appear the biggest from a perspective standpoint. The other nice thing from high to low is a lot of times it will help to create a real pleasing line out of the lower mask of the face. Get away from uh, creating a big negative space shape out of the neck which is rarely pleasing. It doesn't matter who you're photographing. And the other nice thing about uh, high to low is uh, a lot of times it will cause the person's uh, head to orient up and also the eyes to look up. And that can do a whole lot of things. Um, it can help to get the light into the eyes. It can help to stretch the mask of the face. One really interesting thing that's happening here is this camera position. This gentleman is looking over the glasses and that gesture here really helps to make what in some ways is a real sort of straight-in portrait uh, really extraordinary. Just this one bit of, of gesture and expression and looking over the glasses uh, really says something in terms of storytelling that's very different than just shooting straight in and somebody is behind the glasses. I just love how um, 
the, the main part of the eye is revealed by the glasses. So much of the time glasses in front of eyes are really create a feeling of eyes being out of focus or diminish the eyes. So it's really bringing the eyes forward, but we can all think about the idea of somebody looking and then sort of looking over their glasses um, as if to take a much um, closer look or to take a different kind of look. And to me, that's a real powerful part of the portrait. I love what's happening in the negative space down here, the real strong V of the shirt and how that, uh, for me, when I get down here, creates lines that come back up and connect to the face. I'm also really enjoying sort of a crisscross pattern here in terms of value. Very dark here, very bright here, getting very dark here, very bright here. Just like the way that's playing out from an overall value and balance standpoint. Fantastic portrait on so many levels. At the end of the video here, I just really want to encourage you to have the courage to meet people with your camera. Um, if people are not into it, you know, just take the first no and graciously um, just release from the situation. Um, my experience in doing this kind of photography uh, for uh, going on six years now and doing quite a bit of it is not only um, do many, many people respond in the affirmative, you just end up having a life that's filled with more life. You have new experiences, meet people, build community for yourself. And the amazing thing about people as a subject matter is that human beings are just, like all sentient beings, so incredibly expressive. There are just so many possibilities if all you're doing is just uh, photographing a human face as you interact with somebody, almost forgetting about everything else. There's an infinite number of expressions and gestures and things that can happen there. And for most of us, um, people are a subject matter that are available to us all the time. We just have to be willing to take a little bit of a risk and, uh, and reach out. And I really want to thank Andre for doing that and for sharing uh, this fantastic portrait with us. I um, would love to get your submissions for both the daily critique and the photo of the week. Really appreciate you being here. Hope to see you again very soon on The Mindful Eye.